you doing? I'm your girl, being out here or nothing. And you know what time it is? Of course you know. Well, you are welcome to Word Battle. You know how we roll on the show? And if you don't, we get important personalities, we get amazing personalities to battle using words at your disposal. But today is not going to be any different. Well, honestly, there's going to be a little twist. I have an interesting guest with me today. And before you meet him, or her, just stick around. We're going on a little break right now. Welcome, guys. I told you I have an interesting personality here with me today. Guys, I present to you CP Kings. Hi, CP Kings. Hi. Hi. See, I'm, I'm so close to I like. I want to say this is your nice. Okay, let me just keep my touch to myself. Well, nice to meet you. How are you doing? Awesome. Awesome. Okay, guys. Okay, CP Kings. A lot of persons are on Instagram. Like, we follow you. You want to know more about CP Kings. So, let's start. What's your full name? Can we meet you? Like, everything. All right. Um, my full name is Ogwara Ogenesu Cicero Paul. So, from that Cicero Paul is where you get the CP Kings is just something I added. Yep. And uh, I'm an engineer. Wow. And a performance poet. That's cool. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure that many persons never knew that engineer part. And that's really nice. So, you're an engineer. So, what for civil engineering? Civil. Why well, I got it. <laughs> okay, can you tell us what's your journey so far? Like, has the journey been in the industry of being a poet and you know? all? Well, we all know um, poetry is just growing in Nigeria and we are doing our best to to build to build on the foundations that have been made. But it's not been easy. Uh, first, when you climb a stage, you get people telling you oh, what exactly were you doing? Is that like a type of rap without a beat or something? And it's, it's really not easy for even those that are trying to like make events and bring up events, you know, slam poetry and all that. It's not been easy, but we do our best. Wow. For a civil engineer, how, okay, poetry for you, did it start as a hobby? Like, how did it mix engineering and poetry? How did it start, like, everything? Uh, I can say it started as a hobby. But at that point, I think I had um, a space or a void that needed to be filled, so poetry did the needful. Wow, okay. So, who is your biggest motivation? When it comes or to what? Poetry. poetry. Like, where did you get your inspiration from? Or where do you get your inspiration from? You mean how I write my poems? Yeah. Music. Music. Music, that's how I get my inspiration. That's really nice. So, amongst your poems, you've written a lot of poems, so do you have a favorite? Because many persons refer to their poems like they refer to them as children or babies or stuff like that. They, um, they treasure such amazing work. So for you, do you have a favorite poem? Mm, not really, I don't. Not really, you don't. You just treat everyone as... I have favorite poems. I okay. don't have a particular poem. I okay, that's like. one. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, is there a story? Is there always a story behind your poems? Not always. Not always. And there are times you just get this feeling to write. But there are some that they have stories behind them. Like uh, a particular poem I wrote, uh, 001. Uh, I call it um, 0 and 1, so 001. It's a poem about hunger. <laughs> Can you just give us a little. Uh, just tell us a little bit about that poem. Like, tell us. Say. You mean I should drop some lines? Yes, or? drop some lines. Uh, uh, it takes a certain type of hunger to know zeros and ones are not just a computer language because then you'll find zero zero one is not a computer or command it only means that you missed breakfast <laughs> you will skip lunch but you will take dinner so nightmares you don't plague your dreams and if you're a student okay i'm done with the point but if you're a student you understand what i'm trying to of say of course Safa <laughs> moment. <laughs> so, yeah. okay so um, I'm sure you have best moments, like you being a poet. What's your most awkward moment for you as awkward. a poet? 
it's usually when you forget a line on the stage. It's always horrible. Yeah, it's always horrible. It's a nightmare to every poet, or any artist at all. If you forget your lines on the stage, it's horrible. So how did you recover from me? Like, on that stage, you missed your line. How did you just, that recovery and everything? At times, at times you just try to get the closest line you could remember and you continue from there. And there are times you can't just continue. They just say thank you very much. And you pray hard that you've already gone find the poem so you can just leave the stage. And then make sure it doesn't happen next time. So you've had stage fright before? I still have stage fright. You still have stage fright. So, because many persons, they are listening. So what do you want to tell? How do they um, fight or what should be their coping mechanism to get over the stage fright? Because this is raw talent you get. So how do you, you see pickings? How do you just cope and not just sing and just run away or cry or just stay mute for stage? Um, first, stage fright. Um, it, it's the fright that you might not be ready. You get scared that you are not ready to climb that stage, like you're not ready. And the thing about art is you are never ready. You can rehearse from now till 10 years time and you still climb that stage and you're still scared. And I think it sometimes stage fright helps. It helps you to feel like overconfidence is also bad on stage. When you get overconfidence, you might lose, in, you lose touch with your emotions. So it helps you keep balance. So the first thing you have to accept is uh, you can never be ready, but you've done enough to want to climb the stage. So Just go. Cool. Okay, so as a poet, what's the wrong stereotype persons have attributed to you? Yeah, uh, the first one is, ah, uh, you're a poet, there are many girls around you, so. Yeah, it's, it's very common. It's why I think uh, most of the poets I know are, are single. And then they assume uh, poets are bad boys. Yeah, they have the words and uh, they can get any girl they want at any time, so. Are you a bad boy? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Depends on your definition of bad boy. Okay. Generally. Just listen to me. Are you a bad boy or are you a bad boy? Oh, I think I'm a bad boy. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> Guys, oh, sorry. <laughs> Girls. Ah, what did I say? Girls is a bad boy. Okay, this brings me next to like the other question. As a poet, have you had any scenario where you've gotten or you've had stalkers like girls stalking you? I know. Mm, once in a while. Once in a while. How do you handle that? If you can't handle, if you can't um, handle it directly, you you ghost. <laughs> ghost. You ghost. Okay, we've said a lot of things. Many persons want to delve into this art because they want to express themselves. Many poets like I've spoken to, they just want to express themselves. They want to write something that they want to be heard using this genre. So what do you have to tell persons that want to delve into this industry? Um, like you said, expression, expression is personal. Nobody will come, nobody comes into an art and want to do an art form and you want to be like everybody else. You come with your, your difference, you may come with your difference. So if you want to be a poet, First, you have to decide what type of poet you want to be. Um, like when I started poetry, I started as a gospel poet until I found out okay, there are so many things I can write about. I'm not saying I'm not a gospel poet now. Mm. I usually don't call myself a gospel poet. I tell you I'm a Christian and I'm a poet. Yeah, so, okay. so there are so many things you can write about. So you decide, okay, what type of poetry do I want to write? And also you should forget about the stereotypes and most people tell you, um, when you do a simple poem, they tell you it's not deep. Depth is relative. And also language. Um, like me, most times I would prefer doing a pigeon poem. So it's relatable to anybody I do it with, or I do it to exactly. So don't listen to anybody telling you, okay, um, um, this style of poetry is not accepted. But the only thing you have to do is make sure it's quality. Quality, original. Original. Yeah. I thank you so much. Well, we're moving on to the next segment. Hope you are prepared. I'll try. Because I'm looking at you. Yes, you're giving us a smooth line, smooth lines. You're just frowning. Not frowning, you just have a straight face. So I'm going to mock you in a way. Just a bit, a bit. Okay, moving on. How fast 
can you say great grand grand got gab great grand grand great mm -hmm. grand grand got gab great grand 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 got gab yes great grand grand okay let's say great grand like great grandfather great grandmother okay great grand grant grant is the name okay. got gab gab is the name of a cat or a dog or anything so great grand grant got gab okay five times five times yep great grand grant got grant okay ah. No, <laughs> let me just help you. Just start again. Can you do it? Great grand grant got gab. Great grand. <sighs> great grand grant got gab. Ah, uh, great grand grant got gab. Great grand. You missed it. <laughs> okay. Moving on to the next segment. I'm going to give you a word. Actually, there are three words, but I'm going to give you a different interval. Then I give you a word and you create a poem according to the word I give to you. All right. Are we good? Okay. Okay. So CP Kings. Okay. Give us a poem about Christ. Hmm. Okay. For our sake, the morning star's brightness was darkened, and so dark his father turned his back our sins laid siege on his purity he became a sin that removed our impurities for every pain he bared hell lost its bearing he died so death will forget our names the coffins lost their trophy he took that yardstick from the graveyard so do you remember those little things you thought might never matter but it turned the occupied space the pain the shame hell's fame dark flames speed with the wrong trains they've been tamed do you remember the cuffs the shackles the chains the beginnings pulled off at the sound of his name do you remember that like afterlife god's love is never ending and even when you remove the ash tags god's love is still trending mm. that's sweet that's so sweet wow 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 okay let me give you the next word christ one give us a poem about love Okay. As you don't bore hole for my brain, tap enter my stream of thoughts I can't think well. So if you call me anything you want, even fish self, cause your love don't they shark me. I see your love they catch me like fish net. If I don't try wrong, but I don't chop this thing, hook, line and sinker. I mean see as you be like fine wine, consort like fresh bread. Bread and wine a combination just like holy communion. But you say you not want me well, who can tell the future? Who knew one day paper money was going to beat gone? Mm. Oh my! Let me, let me, mm. Can you contain my excitement? Did you see the words beat gone? Who said I don't want you? Who said I don't want you? Who mm, said know. so? You speak for yourself a lot, not speak for yourself a lot. Guys, I'm sure you love today's show. And if you are not following us across our social media platforms, guys, girl, you are wrong. On YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, we are viewers TV Niger. Until I come your way again, bye for now.